Would you teach me something about medicinal herbs? Certainly. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. All right, but it'll cost you. Isn't that quite a lot? Are we agreed? You're a right pinch purse. Ah, oh, you're flaying me here. I'd almost shake on that. Almost. Agreed. Now, listen up. God. Let's talk about the price. Hmm. All right, so... Uh, since it's you... Well, a little more and we'll call it a deal. Finally, a reasonable sum. I've come from the priest. They're saying you incited some women to witchcraft. Me? Witchcraft? That's nothing but idle chatter. Don't you know that witches get burned alive? There's no need for trouble. I'll tell you everything. I've done a very foolish thing. It's preying on my mind so much I can't sleep a wink. But I'm supposed to believe an old witch has pangs of conscience. Laugh if you like, but it's not a word of a lie. You probably know I sell various magic lotions and potions alongside my herbs. Well, there's one I wish I hadn't sold. You see, Vera, Zlata, and Kuta from Ujits wanted a magic ointment from me. I kept refusing them, but in the end I let them talk me into it. What kind of ointment was it? One that will show you a world no one else can see. A place of wonder and terror. The flowers might start talking to you, or the earth could swallow you up. I don't know if it's the work of the devil or of God himself, but the ointment has that power. But it could poison any person who doesn't know how to use it right. So all this talk of witches anointing themselves and then flying to their sabbaths on broomsticks... The ointment could make a person see such things. But it was stupid of me letting those foolish women get their hands on it. They could poison themselves or fall off a cliff while they're lost in a dream. Will you give me the ointment recipe? It contains belladonna and the herb Paris, both quite poisonous plants. That ought to make you think twice about dabbling with it. So why did you give them the ointment at all? Because I'm soft-hearted. You see, one of those women, Vera, lost her whole family in Scarlitz. And Zlata's husband was killed. And the youngest of them, Kuta, miscarried with the horror of it all. They said they wanted to use the ointment to speak with the dead and ask them to put a word in with the Lord. Yeah. I understand how they feel. But I reckon it'll get them nowhere but the ducking stool and the stake. Judge not, lest ye be judged. I didn't want to give them the ointment, but they offered me a pile of groschen. So I thought how desperate they must be, and I heard their plea. Their plea? 
or the clink of their coin. And why are you so worried about them all of a sudden? What changed your mind? I'm losing sleep over it. Firstly, those women don't know what they're doing. And secondly, folk might see it as witchcraft. And do you know what they do to witches? They burn them alive. That they do. So don't be surprised I'm worried. It didn't bother you before, though. What did they want the ointment for? Each one of them lost a loved one recently, and it's grieving them. They wanted to talk with the dead. I've heard enough. If you've heard enough, you must understand why I need your help. Find out from those women what they intend, and watch over them to keep them safe. Very well. But only because the priest himself asked me to. Thank you a thousandfold. I'll go to the reverend myself and explain. You take care of those women. Someone there? What hole did you crawl out of? You've no business here. I've heard something about a magical ointment. What? Who told you that? Was someone asking around? Gertrude sent me. And what did she say? Does she want to add something to the ointment? No. She's worried about what you'll do with it. It's quite dangerous stuff. What I've heard already amounts to a burning offence. Wait. Really? If someone buys witching ointment, what am I supposed to think they want it for? Let me take a wild guess. Witchcraft! And witches deserve to burn! We're doing no wrong. We go to the woods alone, at night, and we hurt no one. I won't say any more. You might twist it against us. What are you doing?
See something, my God, over there. For God's sake, there, over there. I heard something about a magic ointment that you got from the herb woman. You heard that where? And what business is it of yours? The herb woman sent me. Gertrude? What does she want? Haven't we paid her enough? That's not the point. The ointment's dangerous, and the herb woman doesn't want you getting up to anything foolish. Thanks for the concern, but we're grown women. We're old enough to make our own choices, and what we do in the woods at night is no one's business but ours. I've heard something about a magical ointment. Really? I'd like to know where from. And what concern is it of yours, anyway? The herb woman sent me. Gertrude? What does she want? More money? It's not about the money. She's concerned about your health. That ointment can be dangerous, and she wants me to make sure you don't do anything foolish. She said that. But I can't believe it's all that serious. If she's really worried, tell her to come with us to the crossroads at midnight. But not a word to anyone else. for your law <sighs> Who the hell do you think you are? Didn't I tell you you've no business here? You should have thought twice about what you're doing. That will land you a fat fine. Look, I'll tell you the truth, but you mustn't tell anyone. The Lord of Ratai sent me on a secret mission. And to do it, I have to bend the law a little now and again. Understand? Well, I thought, that is, I had no idea. Well, if that's how it is, of course you may go.
but we should put the ointment on now. What do you want? I'm here to keep an eye on you. We don't need anyone looking after us. Who sent you anyway? Uh, the priest sent me. The priest? Oh, that's not good. He's sure to want to see us burn. We can't do anything now. Let's go home. Almighty. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. Can I sleep here? Uh, certainly. For how long? Just the one night? Sure, but let's see your coin first. These are harsh times. Here you are. You all like it here. Like sleeping on a cloud, it is. Where do I go to sleep? You'll have no trouble finding it. Right inside the door to the building, there's a ladder up to the loft. Your bed's ready there, and a trunk for your belongings.
good health to you. I'd like to discuss the price. Hmm. All right, so. Is this enough? You're a right pinch purse. Since it's you. Well, now, a little more and we'll shake on it. Aye, that would do it.
built. He says there was nothing down below the castle, but up top, the snow was ankle deep. The weather's gone mad, I tell you. You say that all the time, and every year it's as mad as the last. <laughs> What happened to you? We're all here. We can set off. Is it far? Not at all. But we should put the ointment on now. It takes a while to start working. Where exactly do you put it on? Well, there. You know? I feel shy. <laughs> so playing games with the devil is alright, but dabbing some ointment on your cunny is going too far. Aye, well, don't peek for a bit. I'm not sure. Oh, don't worry. Plenty of women have tried it before us. What if it does work? What if he does appear? But that's what we want, isn't it? Let's go.
we're here. We all know what to do, don't we? I'm not altogether sure. Gertrude didn't want to say anything about that. So all we know is what we came up with ourselves. Damn. I feel all peculiar, though. The ointment is the main thing, and we'll think up some chant or two. Just let's get it over with, quick. I keep hearing weird noises. When shall we three meet again? In thunder, lightning, or in rain? When the hurly-burly's done? When? When? Damn it! The battle's lost and won. What's that nonsense, you bubbling? I didn't make it up. It came out of me all by itself. My vision's blacking out. And I feel the earth moving. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. We're not doing it for our sake. Our intentions are pure. There's nothing to worry about. Silence. Hush now. Do you hear that? As if someone was singing. That'll be the tree roots. The earth speaks to us. Like Gertrude said. Why is it getting so dark? It's singing very loud. Make them stop. At least for a while, please. My head hurts. Don't be scared. Let it happen. Lucifer, star of the morning, we're here to ask you a boon. What is it? Hail Mary, pray for us. I feel the devil is coming. I'll go toward him. Show him the way to find us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now at the hour of our death. What are you praying to the Virgin Mary? You'll scare the devil away. Stop praying and speaking of death. We are here to save life since we've lost our own. I'm coming to meet you. Who is it? Who's there? Just me. I haven't found anyone. Me? Who's me? You're Lucifer, aren't you? Oh, Lucifer. Thank you for heeding our call. Send the plague down on Sigismund and his humans. It's me, Vera. I mean, I think so. Everything's a muddle. Lucifer, deliver us from the humans. A plague upon them and their families. Lord God, you turned your back on us in our hour of need. We beg you, at least now command Lucifer to rid us of the humans. Yes, Lucifer, deliver us of the humans. Here and now, come among us. Take what you want and let Sigismund and the humans die of the plague like fate. <laughs> Father to all exiles. I hear someone coming. Who's there? Is it you, Kuta? No, I'm still over here. What's going on here? Oh, welcome, Prince of Darkness. And make yourself at home. What would you like us to do? We will fulfill your every wish if you fulfill ours. Prince of Darkness, what in God's name are you babbling about? Why are you testing us? Testing you? Jesus Christ, what have you been smearing on yourselves? A magic ointment from the herb woman? 
We are ready to pleasure you, Lord. In return, all we ask is that you rid us of the Cumans. And if you won't rid us of them, then help us get away from here. Give us riches, so we can start a new life in the city. I'll give you anything you ask. I knew it. Thank you, my lord. In return, you'll have to... Have to... Shit. I feel very weird. Oh, that ointment. You smeared the ointment on me. Fear not, my lord, nothing will happen to you. It's all part of the ceremony. Oh, shit. What the fuck? What did you do to me? Are you quite well after your long journey? Huh? Long journey? What? From the gates of hell to here. When will you take care of the humans? And why don't you have horns and hooves and a goat's tail, like the priest said? I flew in on a tree branch. It took no time at all. Flying on a branch? Will you teach us how to do that too? We are your maid servants now. We'll do anything you wish. How come you're a talking mare? What mare? Does your sight deceive you? I'm Vera, and I turn many a young man's head in Ujits. I, I got rid of my horns and hooves along the way, and uh, I keep my tail in my breeches. I only get it out for special occasions. <laughs> I hope there'll be one soon enough. Um, actually, I wanted something else. What's that, oh lord? Will you serve me and do all I tell you to? Oh yes. Our Lord of Hellfire, we'll do whatever you want. Just rid us of those wretched humans. Which one will you take first? Me. Take me. No, me. And what about the other one? Why doesn't she speak up? Kuta, you chicken, speak up. I want you, Mayor. Vera. I knew it. Come on. Come closer to me. That was tough. Oh, but I'm all dizzy again. What is wrong with you? Is something going to come of it or not? I need to... to sleep. Bugger sleep! What was that? What is it? Someone coming! The answer to my prayers! Just when I wanted to vent my rage on someone. Yeah. I'll have you! I'll have you! Yeah. Oh.
Is someone there? I found out more about the Ujit's witchcraft. Pray, do tell. The women have got hold of some magic lotion from the herb woman, and they're using it to summon the devil. For the love of heaven. I followed them to where they held their Sabbath. They summoned the devil, danced around a fire. Oh my God, what else? The women were completely out of their minds from that ointment. Then some woodcutters stormed in. They wanted to put a stop to the witch's Sabbath. Good God. And what happened? I had to kill the woodcutters to save those women from them. For Christ's sake! How could you? Such needless slaughter! Those men meant well! Was there no other way to stop the bloodshed? The woodcutters were beside themselves with rage, baying for the women's blood. There was no reasoning with them. There must have been another way. I couldn't. I'm so sorry. I can hardly fault you. It's my fault too for letting things slide so far. I should have taken care of the herb women and those poor women myself. Pray for the souls of those unfortunate Christians. Pray, because you have blood on your hands. At least you see where dancing with the devil can take you. Pray for their loved ones and for your soul and mine, because we share the blame. And now please, go. Leave me alone to pray. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. Be a bit more careful. Is someone there? Somebody help me! Thief! Thief! He won't get away! Come and get it. Mm. <sighs> Shit, leave me be. Enough, you win. Had enough? Yeah, yeah, you got me. Look, it was only a few groschen. No excuses. Hand it over. Here. You got the thrashing you deserved. I hope you've learned your lesson. Yes, sir.
you really let him go? Just like that? And did you get the loot back? I did. I have it here. Thank you, that thieving magpie. You can't trust anyone these days. Ahem. <clears throat> and just so you know, I'm no pinch purse. Here's a small reward. Thanks. Be a bit more careful. 